No. Right, so, so I've just been recording and I realized I didn't turn the mic on. So I was just speaking at nothing for like a good minute. Luckily I noticed. Anyway, sorry for the blariness. Today I'm in Manchester, back home. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm usually in Birmingham where I go to university there. Anyway, with that being said, this video, this is a three part series, a first of three, and I'll be discussing the importance of knowing yourself, why it's important, how you can get to know yourself better, and the challenges you will uh, encounter on that journey, because that's what it is, it's a journey, it's a process, and I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. So, I'm repping Manny on the map today. Oh, anyway, six, so, uh, this part, number one, is about the importance of knowing yourself. And with that being said, let's begin with this. When you know yourself, when you know um, your mind, your body, your temperament, etc. It's the same as knowing uh, your destination on a map. So, when you're traveling to your destination, uh, you get presented with many choices, but when you know which direction, where you want to go, exactly where you want to go, it's it's easy, decisions are simpler, um, there's many distractions but it's easy, so in life you get many options, many people, uh, all these things, but when you know yourself, it's easier once again to navigate, it's easier to know which way to go. Yeah, another thing, uh, when you know yourself, you can alleviate so many of the negative consequences or emotions of um, being lost, you know, there's so much social pressure cultural pressure etc that can lead to anxiety worrying whether whether you're good enough or you be you get what you deserve or want etc all these uh, all these thoughts ideas from the outside uh, create emotional resistance making you feel worried anxiety all these things but when you do know yourself you understand that even though you may not have what you want you always have what you need and what you need so what you want isn't always what you need as well. What, did you say, what you want isn't always what you need as well. Uh, you can you get to know the difference between what you need and what you want. And um, yeah, you also realise that you have so much power to change your real your reality to, to influence your reality and yeah to manifest whatever you you put your mind to. Yeah, fuck. So you've got say you got your career, you've got relationships, and you've got your health. These are the some of the main pillars in life anyway and we'll start with health health you know in society and culture uh, there's like a the standard box for what's good for the body but in reality everybody is a uh, nuanced you know each reacts differently to different to different foods or input or information and when you know this you can deviate the you know the challenges the obstacles you know you get to know what, what works for your body, what works for your mind, and you can make better, stronger decisions regarding that. And I don't need to tell you how important your body is, how important it is to look after it, because your body is really all you have. So it's how you experience this reality. So it's obviously important to look out for it. And yeah, then you've got your career or job or whatever you want to call it. Again, some people work well in a certain environment, others don't, others work best on their own, others work best in a team, others work in an intense cutthroat environment, others in a placid calm environment. Again, if you know this, you don't have to spend years, money, emotional energy in, you know, having to experience what you don't need in order to in order to know what you what you benefit from. So again, knowing yourself saves you energy, time and money. And of course three uh, maybe one of the most important ones as relationships, whether it be friendships or romantic or business. Again, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you know what you need from your you know, your people, your friends. And again, if you make the right decisions regarding the people you're gonna spend time with or enter into a partnership with, it saves you money and energy. It benefits the relationship so it can be beneficial for both. And of course, if you um, get the right partner, 
you can flourish and if you get the wrong partner you can degrade so it's very important to know which partner uh, you know what's what works for you in relationship what's important to you instead of having to experience years and years of investment of money of emotional energy or to realize actually this isn't what I need so yeah it's important to know yourself and it is it's a process once again uh, you won't do it overnight but it's just a cumulative effect and in the next video I'll be sharing some of some of the tools and methods that have helped me and are helping me in fact to get to know myself better and make better choices regarding regarding life anyway thank you for watching thank you for those who subscribe like share i thank you very much i appreciate you i love you and thank you for watching the video see you on the next one peace